continued our work with uh, measurement of three-dimensional solids today by considering spheres, the surface area, and volume of spheres. I'm going to do problem number 10 with you. Problem 10 says a sphere fits, a sphere fits <laughs> snugly inside a six-inch cube as shown. What is the volume of the region inside the cube but outside the sphere? For some reason I'm having trouble saying the word sphere. Um, the region inside the cube but outside the sphere can be found by finding the volume of the cube and then subtracting the volume of the sphere. Um, the key word here as far as understanding the dimensions is this word um, snugly. So for this sphere to fit snugly inside the cube it means um, the width of the cube or any side length of the cube is equal to the diameter of the sphere. And so if the side length of the cube is 6, the radius of the sphere must be 3. So really what this what this problem comes down to is the volume of the cube minus volume of the sphere. Um, volume of the cube, it's a prism, a square prism. And so our generic formula is area of the base multiplied by the height and then area of the base is base times height for any rectangle. But since it's a square and the base and the height are equivalent, you could just use uh, S for side. And side times side is uh, side squared. When you substitute side squared into this volume of the cube formula, you get side squared multiplied by the height, but the height is also S. It's also the same length as a side since it's a cube. So it's S squared times S. So the volume of any cube is just going to be S cubed, the side length cubed. And then you need to subtract volume of the sphere for that. So we'll, we'll look at that next. Um, we learned today that volume of a sphere can be found using the formula 4 thirds multiplied by pi multiplied by the radius of the sphere cubed. Um, so, if you if you can substitute the dimensions, we, we already talked about, um, if this is the center of the sphere, then this radius must be 3, since the diameter is 6. And so you substitute that radius into this formula using 3.14 for pi as your estimate for pi. And then once, you, once you've substituted the values, it's fine to use a calculator. And then we'll substitute that into this um, subtraction and, and find the um, volume in the cube but outside of the sphere. So do that during the pause and come back and see how you did. Paused. Okay, substituting the radius into this formula for volume of a sphere, I get 4 thirds multiplied by 3.14 multiplied by 3 cubed grab my calculator. On your calculator you type 4 divided by 3. If you're using the TI30X2S it'll, it'll look like a fraction as soon as you say 4 divided by 3. And then you multiply by 3.14 multiplied by 3 I already know you know you probably know what three cubed is also three times three times three is twenty seven. But just to show you how to cube on the calculator, you multiply by three, and then right above the x squared button, it's called the caret button. It, the um, the button itself looks like this. So you type three, then the caret button, and then three to tell it the exponent. This is your base number to the third power. That's what the calculator will do if you if you enter those uh, symbols in that order. And I get 113 and 4 hundredths for the volume of the sphere. So substituting back into this formula, we have um, side cubed, so 6 cubed minus 6 cubed is um, 36 multiplied by 6, which is 216. And then when I do that on the calculator, I get 
102 and 96 hundredths. Units would be inches cubed. And then looking at the, um, the answer choices, looking for something close to 102.96. 103.0 inches cubed, that's if I was rounding, even if I was rounding to the nearest tenth, I would, I would round to 103.0. So um, the answer choice we're looking for is right here. And the way the puzzle works is you see the lowercase d and the uppercase y down down in this um, answer answer area you, where lowercase d is, you just type, uh, write the letter y. And if you do that for each um, problem, it will spell out the answer to the riddle. Uh, why are mathematicians like airlines? This one's actually pretty funny. So if you have time to do the riddle, fine. If not, just make sure you um, show your answers clearly and circle them, include your units. It's fine to use a calculator as long as you uh, write the formulas first and then substitute the values. Okay, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you tomorrow.